Salam. That revelation and that inspiration from the Almighty, which has become an everlasting legislation for the world. There are four major compartments of his greatness that we can look at and that we can compare him with anyone else because he was not a mythological figure he was not an abstract figure he was not a personality that perhaps he didn't really exist no his life has been documented in detail by both Muslims and non-Muslims those who love him and those that resisted him still they documented in detail and there's no human beings life that has been documented in detail personal and private public an open book for the world to see to be examined like the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he surpassed all of the human beings in his psychological and moral qualities and secondly he surpassed all of the human beings in his nobility and worth of the fundamental values and thirdly no human being was able to realize his vision no prophet no king no emperor no messenger no human being was able to realize in his own life that which his life was set out to fulfill no one realized it to the extent of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and fourthly the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the only human being that educated a whole generation to follow him to walk in his footsteps to preserve his sunnah his tradition to preserve the message that he had been given and to establish a government to resist all other governments and to carry his word and to carry that legislation and to carry that inspiration throughout the world all the way until this day that we are living in today one quarter of the whole world one quarter of the entire world are filled with people who every day they say Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama salaita ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim fi al alameen innaka hamidun majid Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim fi al alameen innaka hamidun majid and Allah he said in the revelation he gave to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Inna Allahu wa malaikatuhu yusalluna ala nabi Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima And we today we answer that Allah say oh you who believe Allah Azza wa Jal and his angels wherever they are they send a special salutation and immunity upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Oh, you who believe, you too, send Salah upon him with reverence and gratitude. So we Muslims, we say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina wa Nabiyina wa Habibina Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And so one quarter of the human beings are saying, Oh Allah, Bless and exalt Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa as you have blessed Ibrahim and his followers. Exalt 
Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his followers as you have exalted Ibrahim and his followers verily you are praiseworthy and you are glorious one quarter of the human beings one out of every four human beings are muslims whether they are weak muslims or strong muslims white muslims or black muslims yellow muslims or red muslims female or male muslims young or old muslims powerful or weak muslims muslims of the weak of the west or the east muslims in china muslims in australia muslims in america muslims in afghanistan muslims in iceland muslims in the north pole muslims in scandinavia muslims in puerto rico muslims every place and if there's a place in the ocean where humans are at there are muslims there and if there is a place in the, on the moon where muslim where humans are at there's a muslim there too And I understand that there are 58 astronauts that are at the space station every day. And I wish Allah would let, give me a ticket to go there. <laughs> I wish some of us, we could take a ticket to go to the space station and we'll give dawah out in space. And we'll come back, inshallah, some of them would become allies and a few of them would also become Muslims. So we could say there are some Muslims on the space station too. Oh Muslims, our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam combined in a single personality the highest degree of spirituality through diligent worship, this was a man. This was a man receiving over the period of 23 years on a daily basis, intermittently, he was receiving the 6,626 verses of the Quran over a period of 23 years. Receiving the revelation, and when it came, they said, his body shook. His body shook. And if someone's hand or leg was under his, it felt as if their hand or their leg was being crushed from the revelation coming down. And the Prophet him sweated and his body shivered so that the fools among the unbelievers said he had epilepsy because they could not explain what was happening to this man. I told you earlier that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, had he sent this Quran down on a mountain, it would have crushed a mountain. So what do you think it would have done to the heart of a human being? But Allah prepared the Prophet him as a vessel for it. But when the revelation came down, they could see it. Yet the Prophet وسلم, was also during the course of that day feeding the poor, visiting the sick, discharging the army, acting as a statesman, acting as an arbiter, talking to the people.